number one gifted soul here for another zodiac reading and this reading is for the zodiac sign capricorn so if you are a capricorn this is the video for you it's not meant to resonate with everyone and keep in mind that it is for the collective so if you would like a more personalized reading please consider booking a private reading with me on my Etsy shop or my website both have affordable prices if you are interested Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to look into these three messages last. And let's go ahead and get started. So we have the King of Swords upright. Okay. So with the King of Swords, some of you could be dealing with an air sign. If this turns out to be a love reading, if it's not... Their primary sign, it could be in other areas of their chart. Um, but yes. So, King of Swords in the upright position. To me, it's all about knowing or a male energy. You don't have to be male, but. Um, take it as it resonates an energy being you know knowing what they want and having the opportunity to get what they want a king is like having something at their fingertips um, it is also somebody that's very mature they're very courageous and they are very spiritual Um, so I feel like with this, there's a need for some of you to get more information regarding a person or even a topic or, um, just a situation in general. It's possible that you have the resources, but you're kind of, you know, just kind of getting lost. There's a lot going on in this card. As you can see, there's even an owl here. So like I said, they are very um, spiritual. They know what they can get what they want. And so it looks like, yes, they are very intuitive. Or you are intuitive. But I feel like this is about some of you paying or listening to someone that has a lot of wisdom to offer you. We have, yep, the High Priestess. So basically the same thing. Um, high Priestess, intuitive, powerful, um, knowledgeable. Yeah, so it looks like you and another person. Seems like a lot of these Zodiac readings for the past few ones that I've uploaded or getting ready to upload it, they're talking about it's like a partnership. And in this case, it's most likely spiritual. So, um... Yeah, I feel like a spiritual partnership coming on could be within the month of July or maybe this is a partnership you already have that's going to get stronger within July. More knowledge is coming to you and I feel like Spirit is saying that the King is now ready to give away some of his, um, how do you say it, give, teach some of his knowledge, give away some of his secrets of the trade, so take notes. Um, I do see you guys, most of you guys doing a lot of journaling for the month of July or need to. Um, parenting, yeah, so like I said, somebody teaching you something. Teaching you the trade. Secrets that, it's not even secrets, it's just that they don't, you know, kind of pass down a lot of things to people. So, within the month of July, this is going to take place if not it's just your focus point for the month now as far as another meaning for parenting it doesn't have to be exactly what i already said but it can be that if you have kids or maybe you're thinking about having kids this is the time to get more information about that and learning how to prepare yourself more for you know raising a child so look at that can't make that up spiritual partnership so for most of you this is a spiritual partnership um and i feel like some of you are even going to have like 
if you are planning on having kids or could be pregnant now or even if you're not pregnant i feel like you're having a spiritual partnership with your unborn child a child that's not even conceived so um and i do feel a need to kind of get with uh get into the energy of your inner child this month as well a leg up so a leg up means having like being one step ahead basically yes yeah, so being one step ahead and i feel like this is because this person is going to be teaching you a lot of things that you wouldn't have otherwise learned um and if not this could be about a need for you to get a mentor to help you work with your psychic development and your intuition and for some of you this is going to be this king and this is going to be this air sign okay so we have get a good night's sleep rejuvenate your body mind and spirit rejuvenation so yeah, so sometimes in order to hear our intuition, we definitely do have to kind of, definitely do need rest. I can't tell you, I am not a Capricorn, but however, I cannot tell you that how many times that I have not been able to get a reading done for somebody because maybe I was drained and didn't have sleep. Sleep is very essential, especially to, especially to those who possess spiritual gifts and use their energy to do readings for people so you definitely want to get sleep for some of you this could be all right for some of you this could be um taking a break from a spiritual partnership since it is rejuvenation but for most of you i feel like this is about you getting into it and this is just advice for you to kind of uh make sure you get some rest before you dive into spirituality if you are new if you are been a part of this if you've been doing this this is just saying that you do need to get sleep just a reminder to make sure that you're relaxed navigating by the stars follow your bliss so for a lot of you um you definitely do have a deep spiritual connection even with people you don't know so i'm gonna assume that some of you could be in paths um but following your bliss so the spiritual connection is something that you are meant to follow this is about following something that makes you happy and following something that um that leads you down the right path and i do believe that you are meant to have some type of spiritual um doesn't necessarily have to be a career where you're making money but you are meant to be helping people with gifts with your with psychic abilities so body work could even be healing as well so your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy energy healing physical therapy or exercise training so it looks like some of you may be kind of working on your health and working on like exercise routines with the month of july or maybe this is just a need for you to do that um some of you may be again just trying to prepare to have kids um like i said you don't have to be pregnant now but definitely you can always start preparing um so your higher self yeah working on this spiritual connection your higher self your intuition any type of psychic development it is a part of your divine life's purpose purpose it is a part of you. you definitely you have a lot of knowledge but i do definitely feel like there is potential for you to have more wisdom on top of what you already have so yes somebody is coming in to teach you or a need for you to look for somebody to help you further develop uh hey partnership Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. So, yeah. I mean, that's what I said at the very beginning of the pile. Now, some of you may have thought that what I said about King of Swords is not even actually true. However, I don't always go with standard meanings. I definitely use my psychic abilities. My guides are here with me at all times. 
even as I am using cards I am a psychic reader um, people tend to forget that when there's cards around but for the most part I am definitely reading energy from my spiritual guides and assistances and things like that so definitely do keep that in mind so yeah I was picking up on this before this even came up is what I'm trying to say but so we have goals progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved so yeah but again it might take the help of this other person um yeah so some of your goals are going to be at least halfway met you're going to hit some milestones within this month and if not halfway met some of the goals you've already halfway are, are at have halfway achieved are going to come into completion this month uh get creative uh there's a 36 again somewhere so we have 36 get creative i gotta find it i don't think it's 36 what i think it is is it's the number 63 but 36 backwards so um yeah i feel like and it could be you that's teaching someone if it's not the other way around but for most of you this is somebody coming in to help you it's not that you don't know anything it's just that maybe you need a little more insight and just a little more not even training because even as an expert psychic myself i guess you can call me um like I'm still going to be wrong sometimes. I'm still going to maybe misjudge situations with my intuition. That's just a part of it. So you can get all the training you want to get. But, you know, it's still not going to change the fact that things change. And, you know. But anyway, so getting creative. Yeah, so I feel like somebody is coming in to teach you how to get more creative within something spiritual related. Um, but, yeah, this is about... I feel like all of the zodiac signs are in their mode of and maybe it's because of the changes that are going on right now but they're in the mode of making a lot of things happen even in these slow times getting creative and finding other you having to get creative because of things going on right now so I mean pretty much I'm gonna say that's a collective message for everybody watching even if you're not a Capricorn but um, but yeah and we have creative projects so this is definitely something for capricorns here your soul longs to express itself in creative ways we're guiding you to infuse artistry and creative creativity into your life creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life so yeah getting creative there's going to be a chance to embark on a, a, a project within the month of july or finish a project within the month of, uh, month of july and um it could be a spiritual related project something involving you teaching other people if not someone teaching you like i said um so we got our three cards here let's look blue angel i archangel michael i'm here by your side i am all around you and will forever protect you remember this when you feel fearful i love you all as well um so yeah, I feel like Archangel Michael is here to help you take the leap of faith. They're here to help protect your projects, here to help protect your spiritual connection with your unborn child or, you know, like I said, this person trying to help you um, with your knowledge in the spiritual world. They want you to know that all is well. And Archangel Michael is here to provide you stability. And again, they're here to protect, keep your projects and your ideas safe. Okay, so divine intervention. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress seems painfully so slow. Look, yet this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing is perfect, harmony all will come to fruition. So, allowing something to take time to manifest. I know it's hard sometimes to kind of wait for things to happen. Trust me, I've I've been there as a human, but. Um, it is for the best that things take time and i did a group message recently i it's my cousin and my two sisters where i do provide them with the oracle card message when i feel called to or sometimes to give them a weekly focus and one of our messages our recent messages was um about divine timing allowing something to allowing something time to create basically 
and our last message is truth the best way through the current situation is just to speak your truth contrary to what you may think no one will be hurt if you express exactly how you feel so i feel like that goes back to teaching some of you are definitely meant to teach something and again it could be spiritual related you could be meant to have uh, clients as like doing psychic readings and things like that or maybe you already have been doing that and this is just your validation to keep going but there's a need to kind of get more creative and offer more different services that maybe you may be skeptical skeptical of going into um but spirit is saying just to keep going from your heart and just keep delivering truthful responses to people i don't feel like most people will be hurt is what this is saying and again the truth goes back to the parenting and this king of swords someone telling you the truth of what they know in the trade so okay so that is for capricorn for the month of july in the year 2020 i wish you guys love and light and hope that it resonates please let me know what you would like to see me do next on my channel um i do have other zodiac readings um uploading actually at this very moment so if you were just watching this out of curiosity and you're not a capricorn your sign may already be uploaded or it's in currently uploading it takes a long time to upload on my end so um but yeah anyway guys i wish you love and light and hope you guys are staying safe out there and happy fourth of july yes i am recording on a holiday right now just because i'm not doing nothing at the moment might do something later don't know but um yeah i hope everybody has a happy holiday and just have fun and i feel definitely you're going to be protected i don't know why i feel called to even say that but yeah so love and light guys and i hope to see you in the next one